Welcome back watch fans. This is a vintage watch review of yet another Seiko chronograph. This is a second of uh, several that I have fixed. This is one that I've already done a two-part series on where I replaced the watch crystal. You can see it's a brand new crystal. Uh, I believe I had pictures. I've, I have pictures somewhere. If I can find pictures of a broken, I'll, I'll put it up in the upper right hand corner. Um, but I will also try and throw in some video on the right showing the crystal being replaced. But uh, if you want to watch those those two videos, I will put them in the cards section of YouTube videos. So you should see it in the upper right hand corner with the little exclamation dot uh, exclamation point. It's a very nice watch. Um, I did really a functional restore. The watch otherwise is it's basically original. I uh, replaced all the seals, greased everything replace the crystal and I did some mechanical work on the movement itself too. Uh, it wasn't working. I had to replace the, the ECM. Uh, there's, I guess what they call it, the, uh, <clears throat> the integrated circuit. I have several of these that I'm working on. Uh, here's another one. This is a, they're all 7T32 based, which you can kind of tell because they have the, uh, the three, three buttons and two crowns. One crown is for the alarm. The other one's for the rest of the movement. They are very uncommon movements. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that. They're very common, but uh, they're hard to define now because most people, you can't replace them. Uh, most people have already bought out all the old stock and uh, available, rebuildable versions of the movement are getting harder and harder to find. So this is a very nice one, uh, very good condition. I bought a new crystal from Esslinger and trim ring from Esslinger as well. Uh, the watch band is original. I chose not to polish it out because it's brushed and it still looks good and I don't want to affect the uh, the gold inlay on there. They are rolled and stamped, but uh, they're sod links. It's Seiko, so it's quality. It has good weight to it. Um, I can put it on here. I'm not really sure that I understand. I just got this, <laughs> this, uh, uh, this thing, and I'm not really sure I understood exactly what it was telling me. I don't know what a DWT is. Let me see. It's a metric. Oh, grams. Okay, there we go. So you can get, get a good idea for the weight, 83 grams. Um, very nice watch. Let me take this off. I'll put it on me so you can see. Um, I really like it. And I'll show some of the function. It's a chrono, it's a Seiko chronograph, of course. But gorgeous watch. I mean, I, I, I kind of love this watch. And I'll go ahead and initiate the, the chronograph feature so you can kind of see. And I just realized I have to adjust the top, the uh, top minute indicator for the chronograph. It's an easy thing to do. You just have to, there's an instruction manual, which I will include in the link. But um, nice sweeping movement for the chronograph. Stop, reset. I love it. And then there's the alarm set feature. And I love this alarm sound. Love that. It's great. <laughs> I absolutely love that. It's so cool. And and just in case you guys don't know, I will show you really quickly what that looks like because I have I have a case. Um, there's no movement in it, but it is a 1732 case. If you look on the back, that is actually a speaker. So it is a sticker that's stuck onto the inside back of the case, um, which is such a cool thing. Uh, I, I always just thought that, that was really cool that the sticker, that the speaker is literally a sticker. <clears throat> All right, uh, let me get some measurements of this and move that out of the way. It is a 39 millimeter case which is decent that's about standard size for these the 19 millimeter bracelet width and the size is about 9.4 to 9.5 which is good very nice watch I mean, you know what let me get the, the width with the crown because I, people usually like to see that as well 40, 40.7, 40 so 40.5. 
love this watch i really do but you know i've got thousands of watches and this is a hobby and i have to keep it moving um and i do watch reviews and i will be putting this one up for sale i don't know what i'll sell it for i think the other seiko i had i think i sold it for 129 something like that this one comes with a nice bracelet so it'll be a little bit more but the ebay link will be at the bottom um again this is the 7T32 movement, and I think I showed, uh, I'll show some pictures of it in the upper right so you can kind of get it, get an idea. It has a snapback case, serial number and everything matches, uh, completely restored. I replaced all the seals, everything works great. Let me see if there's, well, you know, there's no loom for this. This doesn't really have any loom, so I'm not going to do a loom shot because there would be no point. Uh, but... If you have any questions about this uh, um, about this watch or you would like to see some other videos or recommendations for how-to videos, I have several how-to videos, please see my playlist for additional information on that. But if you have any additional information that, that you'd like, uh, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please like. Um, and uh, I absolutely appreciate your subscribe. I don't make any money from this, uh, any money that I do make from these watches. I just put right back into other watches and I do reviews on. So really appreciate your patronage. Thank you very much.